This Nomad Mini has the ability to connect up to three batteries at once. This is with our Dive Boost Kit, which you can see this Nomad Mini has two Dive Boost Kits installed. You can also set it up with just one Dive Boost Kit. Today, we're going to show you how to connect either one or two Dive Boost Kits. Now you're going to remove the existing battery cable from the grooves so that it's free. Remove that dust cap from that connector as that is going to be plugged into the next dive boost kit. Now you can remove the dust cap from the dive boost kit female connector. So the male connector that you have loose from the main unit is going to end up connecting to that female connector in the dive boost. Take the main cable and run it through those two. And now you're gonna plug it in to the female connector on the dive boost. When you do that, don't forget to tighten down that connector until it's all the way tightened. You can ensure that it's all the way tightened by looking and confirming that there's no gap. Here you can see it's run through the two dive boost cables. You can take the upper cable on the dive boost now and run it through the grooves so that it stays in place. And now you can press the dive boost into place and line it up so all of the screw holes uh, should be aligned now. Now as we put the screws in, you can see that there's two holes at each of the four corners. We're going to use the outside holes, so pay attention to where these screws are going in. This is really important because the inside holes are there in case you wanted to add a second dive boost kit below this one, but to install this first one you need the outside holes. Okay, now just tighten those all the way down. They are long screws, so this may take a minute. Okay, once that's all tightened, you can make sure that your cables look like they're routed properly and you'll be ready to go. Now to install a second dive boost, you will have to actually remove that first one and take the cable out. You'll take the lower cable of that first dive boost and run it through. So this lower cable is gonna to connect to the second dive boost. Okay, now we're gonna take the main cable from the unit and run it up through the slot. Now that it's unplugged, we're just going to pass it through here momentarily so that we can take the cables from the second dive boost and fit them back up through that slot. Now we can screw that first dive boost back into place. Let's grab our second dive boost, take the top cable from it, and we're gonna put it up through that slot, fit it into the area where it can rest in that first dive boost. Now we can work the main cable back through the slot in the first dive boost and plug it in to the female connector. So get it lined up straight, press it into place, and then tighten that connector down. Don't forget to tighten this connector, otherwise it won't be waterproof. So now we can take the cable from the first dive boost that we ran through and plug that into the female connector of the second dive boost. You'll just have to work the cable management around so that it doesn't get bunched up anywhere. Also make sure to tighten this connector all the way down.
Now, as you work the cable back up into place, make sure all the cables are routed properly and you can press the second dive boost up onto the first dive boost and line it up. All the screw holes should now be aligned. And as you go to put the screws into place, this time you're gonna choose the inside holes. The outside holes, if you used those, the screws would run into the screws of the first dive boost. So make sure to use those inside holes to get to the open screw holes. So tighten this one down into place. Make sure all the connectors are routed properly and you'll be good to go. Make sure to follow these important instructions for using the Dive Boost Kit. There are a few things to be aware of. This Dive Boost Kit is not compatible with Nemo. It's only compatible with Nomad Mini. Make sure you connect all of the open battery connectors to fully charged batteries during use. For example, if you want to use only one battery, but the Dive Boost Kit is already installed, meaning that you have two connectors open, then you should remove the Dive Boost Kit in order to use just one battery. Make sure all the connectors do have the O-ring installed and that they're fully tightened before using it. Use all fully charged batteries and avoid using batteries of different charge levels. This is to make sure that the Dive Boost Kit operates properly. Use up to a maximum of two Dive Boost Kits at once. Nomad Mini has been tested to operate with a maximum of three batteries, but no more. When you remove a battery, immediately install the dust cap back onto the male battery connector to prevent any sort of debris from disrupting the O-ring seal. Now go ahead and enjoy the extra dive time with your Dive Boost Kit for Nomad Mini.